I'm on site today with Infinity Energy Services, installing a full solar system and a Tesla Powerwall. If you've ever wondered if solar is worth it, what it costs and how it works, this video is gonna cover everything that you need to know. So what actually is a solar PV system? Well, the actual basic components, there's not a lot to it. You have the solar panels, the inverter, cabling, and you have the protection for the electrical system. And if you're having batteries installed as well, obviously batteries. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Adam from Sotra Electrical, and I travel the country carrying out electrical work for people who find me on social media. I'm also diving into the world of solar and battery and joining other companies in learning what it's all about and sharing that information with you. And today I'm with Infinity Energy Services. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and go over to Infinity Energy's YouTube channel also and hit that subscribe button. Hi, mate. Right. I'm Adam. Nice to meet you. You're right. Greg. Yeah, yeah, Greg. Nice yeah. to meet you. All right. This is the first time that I've met Greg and Chris. And after I've introduced myself, it's time to crack on with some work. So, is this what the Tesla batteries come in? Yeah, this is what they come in. Yeah, they come all sealed. You turn the package in. And... I did not expect that. This is the Tesla Powerwall that Chris is about to educate me on. So, it's a 13.5 kilowatt hour of storage in there. It can discharge up to 11.03 kilowatt hours an hour. And then, obviously, it weighs 130 kilograms. Well, in like layman's terms, what can like a general house owner expect from that? What can we run off that? So this would run your house on a daily basis. You know, if you get, you can either charge it from the solar throughout the day, taking advantage of the free power, um, or the off-peak in, in these winter times, the off-peak tariffs can come into effect. You can charge it overnight in the off-peak window and utilize the off-peak power throughout the day. Can you literally run your oven and everything? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. fully discharge at 11 kilowatts. So typically you'd be able to run your oven in your hob or you, you know when your electric shower kicks in with your base load it'll cover that too so what does 13.5 kilowatt hours actually mean well that's enough stored energy to run an average uk home for around half a day if you're only powering essentials like lights your fridge wi-fi and some sockets it can last up to two or three days without needing a top up that's the internals of the tesla k2 so basically you wire that in in line with the towels we have got a power cut, there's a contactor in, in there which turns off the grid supply and gives your whole home back up. The battery uses lithium ion sulfate technology, which makes it safer and longer lasting than older battery types. Tesla guarantees at least 70% of its original capacity, even after 10 years of use. And now it's time to meet the roofers who are installing the solar panels. Hello mate, Hello, mate. I'm Adam, nice to meet you, all right? Nice to meet you buddy. While the roof is set up, Greg's cracking on with mounting the power wall and then the roofers are getting all the rails out which are going to go onto the roof to install the solar panels onto. This solar install includes 15 panels, the battery, but no EV charger. There are two guys working on the roof and two electricians and this should all be done in a day to a day and a half. The price of having solar installed varies massively on depending on how big your system is and what equipment you are having installed and this can range anywhere from about 6 grand up to 15 grand for a normal domestic installation. So with the Tesla, we don't have to split off essential supplies at all. So you basically have your supply go into here, which comes directly from the bottom of this main switch. You can then come out of there, which then will go to your consumer unit. But also on here, we can also tap off this and create our own little circuit. Um, consumer unit inside, so we have a main switch, RC go to power the power wall. And then that way, in the event of a power cut, the black section on this gets cut off so we can carry on using power from the battery on this side. This is a contact that stops any flow of power going back down to the grid and we keep the house running in the event of a power cut. And that's what the earth spikes for? That's right, yeah. Yeah, so essentially if you do lose your earth in the event of a power cut, you know, working on digging up the road, cutting your supply off, leaving up in the air, you'll have no earth connected. So we need to put that supplementary earth in to give you a earth reading. Other manufacturers require you to install a separate consumer unit for essential supplies. But because of the way that this is all being set up, this will back up your whole electrical installation, not just your lights and a socket. This is the earth spike being installed and Greg's gonna test this and we need to get a reading of under 200 ohms. And we have 105, so that's perfect. Up on the roof, we can see the rails being installed ready to mount the solar panels. And I've always wondered how they're fixed. How, how do you find the rafter? Is there an indication for that? Oh, not really. We're just taking the tiles. Yeah. See the first one, and later they usually 400 mil or 600 mil apart, and we have to fit them every 1200 mil. Right. We can't go over that. It's just for a secure reason. 
Downstairs the boys are cracking on but we still need to get the DC cables from the roof to the Tesla power wall and we also need to get the earth cable from the spike all the way around the front of the house. And I'll tell you what, there's not many companies that would make the effort to conceal this earth cable like these chaps did. I'll show you this in just a minute. Hi, it's Adam from the future or the past. Who really knows? Really messy today. Anyway. If you're watching this video, you're probably a bit of a legend. And do you know what legends know? They know that money isn't just made on the tools, it's really made behind the scenes. And it's a little bit of a secret, if I'm honest with you, so don't tell anyone, but we're all using Tradeify. It literally runs my whole business. Quotes, jobs, invoices, payments. It even tells me who hasn't paid and chases them so I don't have to. It's like having an office in your pocket, but without the overheads. I'm not scrolling on social media, I promise. Some lads are still running their business with paper and pens. And I say, let them. Because us legends, we don't waste time. So grab your free trial. If you use my promo code, SOTA30, you will get 30% off your first three months. And before that, you can get a two week free trial. To give it a go, you're gonna smash it. Honestly, it's gonna change the way you run your business. All the info is in the description below. Here we're getting the solar panels mounted onto the roof. This is where it all starts. These are high efficient panels and the idea is simple. Capture as much sunlight as possible and turn it into usable energy for the home. Every ray of sunshine hitting this roof gets converted into electricity, which can be used instantly or stored in the power wall for later. So the solar panels that are getting installed here today are these sun power ones. They're 450 watt panels with a total of 15 getting installed, giving a total output of 6.75 kilowatts, I think. I think that's right. On this job, they are also having a solar boost installed. On this job, we're installing the solar eye boost. And what that is basically gonna do is take the excess energy generated from the solar and it's then going to be used to heat up the hot water in this cylinder. So we are maximising the use of the solar generated and minimalising as much exported energy as possible. Now back to this cable route for the earth. They have conduited at high level and then routed that up through the porch area rather than clipping the cable around the front of the house, conduited back down which then goes to this earth spike here. If you want a bit more of an in-depth explanation to the solar generation, let me introduce you to Dan. Yeah, so it comes down to obviously the shape of, of the roof on the property. A lot of people think the panels have to be self-facing. That's not, you know, that's not the case. There can be east-west, east-west split, even north-facing on, on the roof. You know, we can model that and see exactly what you're going to generate. Yeah, so if, you know, with, with the kilowatts of solar, you're going to generate around a thousand kilowatt hours a year. So if you've got a four kilowatt solar system on a self-facing roof, you're going to generate about 4,000 kilowatt hours as if it's unshaded. What I really want to know is, can I run my three bed terraced house off that? Is this suitable for the installation you're doing here today? Yeah, so typically a three bed house is going to use around three and a half thousand kilowatt hours a year. That's just for a normal three bed house, you know, with the normal sort of occupants, you know, a couple of parents, a couple of kids. If you've got hot tubs, EVs, obviously your usage is going to be more than that, but typically it's going to be around sort of 3,600. So if you've got a four kilowatt system, you're going to generate over that, you're going to generate around 4,000 kilowatt hours a year. If it was east-west, you're going to generate about 3,600 kilowatt hours a year. Obviously you're not going to use all the solar you generate. You're going to be at work, you know, the solar is going to be exported during the, the, the sort of summer days. Um, and then when you come home from work, the sun goes down, you're not going to have any solar. That's when you need battery storage. So obviously the solar is going to generate in the day, it's going to fill your battery, and then when you come home from work and the sun goes down, the battery is going to run you home till the morning. Now you can go for months and months, the whole of summer, you know, maybe from March to September, without using anything from the grid with the right size battery and solar system. Then the additional savings come in in winter. So you can then, you know, you're not going to generate much in the winter months particularly, unless it's a clear sort of sunny day. You can charge your battery off peak. So you come onto these, all these different various tariffs. There's so many available now, they change all the time. But for instance, at the moment, you can get an off-peak tariff at 7p a kilowatt hour. What you do when it comes to the winter and there's not enough sun is you tell your battery to charge in that period at 7p. 
your battery fills up at 7p per kilowatt hour. It then runs your home the whole next day. So in the winter months, you're only paying seven pence per kilowatt hour for your energy. And in the summer months, it's completely free. If you have an EV, you also charge that in the 7p period. So, so that's only seven pence per kilowatt hour to run. You can fill a car such as a Tesla um, you know, Model 3 for around £5.50 and then do 300 miles. So when you start factoring all those things in, electricity costs go you know, through the floor. You can see on the app, you've got the, it's showing you what's being generated from the solar, what's going into the home, what's coming to or from the grid, and what's going to or from the power wall. Um, so ideally, you want to see zero going from the grid, uh, the solar obviously generating in the daytime, and the battery exporting or charging. Um, but the whole, obviously, point is we, we keep that grid at zero kilowatts import, that's where we're saving our money, or if it's exporting, then we're making money from our export tariff. So why should you get a solar panel and battery system installed? Simple, you take control of your energy. Instead of relying on the grid and getting stung by rising electricity prices, you generate your own power, clean, renewable and free from the sun. With solar panels alone, you're already cutting your bills. But when you add a battery, like the Tesla Powerwall, you take it to the next level. Now you're storing the energy you don't use during the day and using it when you actually need it like in the evening or during a power cut, it's smart, automatic, it just works. Power wall free. Um, like the previous power wall, comes with a, a backup gateway. What that means is, uh, as we discussed before, in the event of a power cut, this becomes the source of your energy supply. So if you had a power cut, this pretty much instantaneously disconnects the grid. This becomes the source. Most of the time, the lights don't even flicker. It's that, it's that fast. One thing I always hear people talk about is, you need to apply to the DNO to have your solar installation. Why do I need to tell the DNO? The reason is the DNO look at the infrastructure in that area. Because we're connecting a generator, an inverter to the system, they'll look at the, the cabling in your area, uh, the solar in your area, and how far away you are from the transformer. Now, the reason the DNO need to do that is because they have to ensure you know, you can't go over a certain volt drop or a voltage rise, That you, because when you install solar, you basically create a voltage rise on the grid because for the solar to export your property, yeah. like water pressure, it has to increase. So the solar inverter has to increase its um, voltage to push the power back out into the into the street. So if everyone in your road is doing that, you can see there's going to be a, you know, a higher and higher voltage increase from all the solar systems. And that's what they need to look at. How, you know, the size of the cable coming to the property from the transformer and what the effect of that voltage increase has on that, on that supply. So with this like, 10 year guarantee that I have with this system, am I going to get my money back? Yes, yeah, so obviously it varies from you know property to property, depending on the usage profile, what they're paying for energy. But typically you should be able to see a payback between six and eight years for something like this, if you're a sort of high energy user. When you once you factor in the off-peak charging, along with all the energy you're saving from charging it through the, through the summer and the daytime as well, um, then the savings sort of rack up quite fast. Storage systems and the sizes that you may or may not choose. Um, you know, some people may want a lower, smaller storage system, you know, around five, six kilowatts. Some people want much larger storage, depending on what they use through the evening or through the day, and they want to be able to cover by, you know, having that available in their battery. The good thing about most of these batteries, including the Tesla, you can buy a DC expansion pack, which can just be fitted alongside or in front and double the storage up to 27 kilowatt hours. Um, other manufacturers we use, SIG Energy, Fox, Solar Edge. You can all increase the battery size by either you know, selecting a larger battery on the install stage, or we can just add an additional battery packs to that system, either at the time of installation, or sometimes we even go back a year, two years later, and add another battery pack then to increase the, the storage size. And that is how you install a solar and battery system. If this is the sort of thing that you are looking for, I will leave Infinity Energy Services contact details in the description below. A massive shout out to Infinity Energy Services for letting me tag along today. If you've got any questions about solar, or you want to see more behind the scenes of what goes on with Infinity Energy Services, They've been trading now for like 14 years, so they know their stuff. Make sure you comment below and give them a follow and subscribe to my channel. Need be. Sorry, Greg's ruined my shot. <laughs>